I love computers. I love computers. Oh, is this thing on? So today for computer science, we're going to do a typing activity. Uh, one of the things I like to do at the beginning of computer science is see how much and how well you can type at the very beginning of class. Then we'll do this exact same activity at the end of computer science. And I'm going to keep what you do today and share it with you in May when we do our final project. And my hope is that you're going to be able to see how much growth you've made as a typer during this year. So we want to see growth in two areas. We want to see growth in quality, that's how well you type, and quantity, that's how much you type. So in order to compare uh, your or how much you've grown in May, we need to see what you can do right now. So we're going to do an activity where you're going to write about you. Yeah, you'll type about you, and you're going to type for 15 minutes. You're going to type anything and everything you can think about for that 15 minutes. It is important that you try and type for the full 15 minutes, because in May we'll do this for 15 minutes too. We don't want to see what you can type in five minutes now and 15 minutes later. That won't be a very good comparison of, of what kind of growth you've made. So you're going to try your hardest to type this whole time. And I've got lots of ideas that you can use to type about as well. But first, let me show you how we're actually going to open up the, the document uh, to do our typing in. Okay? So this is a Google Classroom. And in that Google Classroom, we'll find our, our classwork and we'll find our computer science classwork. And here is an assignment all about me. Now, in this assignment, I've got uh, the Google Doc here that you can use, and then you can also hide this, uh, open it up by clicking it, and it's going to make a copy just for you. It'll say your name right up there. Even though it says your name right up there, I still want you to type your name right here. That way, if we print it ever, uh, it'll have your name right on it. So take your mouse and click this box right here, and type your name. Mm -hmm like so. If you can use capital letters by using the shift key, that's great. I'll show you where the shift key is in a little bit. Next, click this box right here. This box is for your teacher's name. Uh, you can look on Google Classroom to see how you spell your teacher's name. So, Carver, I am my own teacher, I suppose. All right, and then this box here. This box here is for your writing, for your typing. This is where you're going to put any and all of your ideas that you can come up with. So um, let's, let's look at a few of those ideas, things that you can write about right now. And also, let's take a look at some important keys that you might need to use while you're typing. Let's go over just a few important keys on your keyboard so that as you're typing today, uh, you, can, you can use these keys to do your best work. So I'm going to look at, uh, at this keyboard right here. And your keyboard might look just a little bit different depending on what kind of device you're using. This is a Chromebook keyboard, one from the school. So if you have one that looks like this, that's great. Uh, but you'll mostly find that no matter what keyboard you're looking at, pretty much the keys are in the same spot. The letters might be uppercase, or um, they might be lowercase like mine are. Maybe yours are a different color. Maybe you have more keys to the right of what you see right here. But for the most part, this is what a, a normal keyboard looks like. Okay. So the first key that I want you to know is the backspace key. This key right up here, it says backspace. Uh, and it is the erase key. If you make a mistake while you're typing today, you type a letter you didn't mean to, look for that backspace key to erase it. Another key that's super important is this big key right in the middle. It's the biggest key on the keyboard. It is the space bar. It has room for two thumbs to sit right on that space bar. It puts one space in between our words. When do we need a space? We need a space in between words, only one space in between words. And we also need a space anytime we have a punctuation mark, like a period or a question mark or a comma. So as you're typing and you push a period, put a space after it. If you're typing a word, put a space after it, just like we do when we are writing. Let's take a look at a few more important keys. 
Some of you might be ready to try and make uppercase letters. When you make an uppercase letter, you use what's called the shift key. The shift key is actually on both sides. Two keys do the same thing. You hold the shift key down with one hand and then tap the letter that you want to be capitalized with the other hand. Then when you let up on the shift key, all of the letters will go back to being lowercase. When do we use capital letters? Normally in our name, the first letter of our name is capitalized also at the beginning of sentences. So when you're ready to start a new sentence, hold that shift key down, tap your new letter, and then let up to keep typing in lowercase. Here are a few punctuation marks you might want to know. This is our period, and this is our question mark. Now this question mark and this exclamation mark, do you see how it's at the top of the key? If it's at the top of the key, and we're going to have to use the shift key right here. Hold down on shift and tap the exclamation mark or tap the question mark in order to get the mark that's at the top of the key. So we also use shift for making those kind of punctuation marks. Let's see what else we have. These are tricky keys. Now, if your keyboard looks a little bit different, they might not be as tricky for you. On keyboards that have lowercase letters, I know that sometimes it's easy to get a Q and a P mixed up. Just remember Q's on the left and P's on the right. We also can sometimes get mixed up when it comes to D and B. So D and B, they are separate. Uh, and then this, again, your keyboard might look different. But if you've got this little funky looking letter right here, that's a letter G. And I know that that's not how we normally make letter G's. And, Honestly, I don't know why this letter G looks like that letter G, but it's a letter G. So when you're looking for the G, that's what it looks like right there. So what are some things that you can write about? 15 minutes can be a long time. We need some brainstorming ideas to help us uh, figure out what we want to write about. So I have put this picture in Google Classroom, and also I'm just going to walk through it real quick with you. Here are some ideas of things that you can write about. You don't have to go in order. You don't have to do all of these. Uh, you can pick your own. If you have an idea of something you want to write about, do that. That's fine. What I care most about is that you are writing for 15 minutes. And so if this can help, great. And if you have your own ideas, that's awesome too. So one idea, you can write about your family. Say who's in your family, uh, what their names are if you want, how many brothers you have, grandmas, aunts, uncles, whatever you want to talk about with your family. You can tell me about your pets. Do you have a dog or a cat or do you have a horse? What do you have? You can tell me about your looks. Do you have red hair? Do you have blonde hair, short hair, long hair, brown eyes, blue eyes? Are you tall? Are you short? What do you look like? You can tell me about your teacher so far. You've had some time online with them. So what do you think of them? Who is their teacher? Uh, what do they do really good at? Other things that you can write about, and I started a sentence for you. I said, my favorite. And when I'm talking about my favorite, that means that uh, you, can, you, know, you can take this any way you want. But my favorite food, let's say, might be hamburgers. So you can say, my favorite food is hamburgers. You could say, I like, and then tell me a sport you like. Or tell me a sports team you like. You can tell me about a favorite color that you have. Or if you have 20 favorite colors, great. Write all of those. Tell me about a book that you really like. I like Harry Potter. Or my favorite subject is obviously computer science. I know. I like what video games do you like to play? Uh, what thing do you like to do outside or inside? Maybe you like to play inside. What kind of animal do you like? Or what's your favorite kind of uh, walrus? Who knows? Whatever you'd like to type here. These are just ideas of things that you can type about for that 15 minutes. So go ahead and use any of these and look back to that picture that I put in Google Classroom to help you as you go throughout your typing. All right, so back to our document here. We've got some ideas of things that we can uh, write about. If we need to get refreshed, come back to Google Classroom and, and take a look at this picture here. Okay. And then set a timer for yourself, 15 minutes, either on a, a microwave timer or a kitchen timer somehow, or maybe just on a phone somewhere. And let's see how much you can get done in 15 minutes. Here's an example. I'm going to say, uh, I like the color red. I like to uh, read books 
about computer science. Did you see how the words went to the next line all by itself? You don't have to push the enter key to go to the next line. And if you get done with a sentence, you don't have to click over here, like down below. It won't actually let you click down below. You just keep typing, keep typing the whole entire time, and the words go to the next line all by itself. If you make a mistake somewhere, I like spaghetti. No, that's not right. Push the backspace key once to erase one letter. Don't hold it down because otherwise you might erase too much. Then you got to retype the whole thing. I like steak. Things like that are better. Type as much as you can. And then when you're all finished, you're all done, push this button right here that says turn in. When you turn it in, it'll give me a copy of it. So then we can't lose it. And I'll save it all year long. Pushing turn in brings me here back to my classroom. It'll ask me, are you sure? And you're going to say, yeah, I'm sure. Turn it in. And then you're done. If it's okay with your parents, you can then go to my homepage, Mr. Carver's website, and you may choose an activity to do under your grade uh, to finish out our time together. Okay? Have fun, and thanks for your hard work.